since I slept past my meal number two, I am having two sandwiches. And I know a lot of people are like crazy about it. But you guys, do what works for you. Everyone has different meal plans for how they- But it obviously doesn't even work for you. You skipped an entire meal and to make up for it, you made another sandwich. You can't even stick to your own meal plan. <laughs> I don't even know why this even matters at this point, dude. I mean, Amber has literally never stuck to a diet in her entire life. But slight queen edges, dude. I'm happy that Amber is eating food. You know, that's great. Um, I, It's low calorie here, but I guess it really doesn't matter. I keep looking outside because Crystal's dad should be home from work soon. I just cleaned the cat box for him and stuff. Um, And he's bringing home Panera. She looks so thin here. And you know what's crazy is I think that she weighs like 300 pounds here, or like 350, which is actually <laughs> an enormous amount of weight. But it's such a little, like, to look at her where she is now compared to when she was like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, it is a night and day difference. I was watching a video of her doing jumping jacks when she weighed like what? Four, 300 pounds or something like that she was able to do them and that is awesome i mean it's not good for you granted like your knees are probably like on fire and your ankles are probably like literally turning to dust but the fact that our girl was able to do literal jumping jacks at 300 pounds but now she's like incapable of even walking for more than a few steps and has to have one of those scooter things like even the process you know the curbs the process of getting on a curb is <laughs> overwhelming for her like she can't even do that and seen amber wait for food many many times there was that one video where she was like looking through the the peak hole to see when the the delivery driver was going to come with her food i don't get it dude i mean <laughs> i like food as much as the next guy but amber most definitely has some like really really big addiction problems but it's such an uncanny thing to see where amber is now and to see where she has been before. Like, look, look, look how thin she looked. You can actually see definition. I know this is from a long time ago, too, because of the video quality. And the fact that she has snake, snake bites. She doesn't have those anymore. Bread, which is Crystal and, I, Crystal and I's, like, favorite thing to eat. Super healthy and delicious. We're getting the Mediterranean flatbread again. It doesn't really matter. I don't know why Amber has to always preference with it's, it's going to be super healthy to eat. Amber, it doesn't matter to be if it's healthy or not. The fact that you're eating it to the, the amount that you are makes it not healthy anymore. Like there are certain things in life, okay? Like water is healthy. But if you drink too much water, guess what? It's not healthy anymore. And the same thing could be said with anything in life. There is it, what happens is you have to eat things within moderation to make them beneficial. If you're eating something and it says healthy for one, and then you eat 19 of them, then it's not healthy anymore. What you're doing is you're making it unhealthy because you're eating too much of it. Now, you can have like this one meal, and I'm sure it's relatively healthy in comparison to everything, the, everything else that you're eating, but I know that you're going to eat again and again and again and again, and that's going to make your overall day unhealthy. I don't know why you're even going out to eat in general. Like why people in her life are like always enabling her to continuously eat more and more foods. Oh my God, It's only 290 calories, but it's too. Why are you even telling us about the calories? I, I just love that Amber. She still has to do this to this day. She has to always preference everything that she eats with the calorie count and the macros and the, and the macronutrients and understanding like, oh no, it's not that bad because guess what? I didn't actually eat anything today, which I don't even know if that's true or not. And I don't care if it's only 250 calories. You're going to eat 8,000 calories today. And this 250 calories is going to set you right for 35 minutes. It doesn't mean anything. I don't know why you have to keep telling us. So like jam packed with veggies that it feels like it's like a million calories. You Can't you just like eat lettuce then? If you really care about, if you really care. I love this test, dude. I love this test to see where people actually are. Because if you're sitting here and you're telling me, dude, I really, really, really care about calories. I really care about cal calories, right? This meal has so much lettuce, has so much feeling, filling food, but in the grand scheme of shit, you don't care because I'm literally watching you body slamming pizza, body slamming hot dogs, cheeseburgers, and all this other shit. You don't give a fuck. It's a, I don't know why so many people have to sit there and lie to you so hard, right? I just want to know if you actually believe this thing. Like, I remember I was having this conversation with this guy and he said, it's unnatural for women to have breast implants and he didn't like things that were unnatural which is valid if you don't want if you don't want to date a woman that has breast implants that's fine but i wanted to actually see whether or not the argument of unnatural was the reason actually why he didn't like the breast implants and so i asked him i said okay 
So you don't like women having breast implants because they're unnatural. But are you okay with like vaccines? Are you okay with, you know, life changing like equipment? Like for instance, when a, when a child is born, they may need to be in like uh, those incubation chambers and things like that to keep the child alive until they can like take care of themselves on their own and stuff like that. Are you okay with that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course, of course. So you don't give a fuck about natural v not not natural, dude. It, a lot of things that we do, a lot of the reasons why we're alive today are unnatural, depending on how you consider natural, right? Like not many people would consider vaccines to be natural. That's a very unnatural process that we had to do in order to get vaccines. But I'm a big fan of vaccines. I love them, right? Otherwise, I'd probably be dead. So it's fine to say that you don't like breast implants for a lot of reasons, but just don't give me a bullshit reason like it's unnatural. You do unnatural shit every single fucking day. You're beating off to porn. Dude, you're beating off to like some hentai shit, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like stepmom shit, dude, tentacle porn. That's fine. That's fine. That's completely fine. Go ahead and beat off to that shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's completely fine. But don't hit me with women shouldn't get breast implants because it's unnatural. It's just, come on. It's okay. It's all right. You don't have to like women with with with, with breast implants. But it's a bad reason, right? You get so filled off of it. it Personally, right? I have no problem with women that have breast implants. They do look a weird, little weird sometimes. Like, I remember while I was looking at Trisha Paytas, right? You know Trisha Paytas? She has a few videos you can find on the internet. Because she had a, 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 a porn account at one time. And I remember back when she was, like, really big. And I was looking at these, like, porn videos. I wasn't beating off to Trisha Paytas. But... I remember I had looked at her boobs and her boot, her nipples were so high up. Like my nipples are like right here, right? Hold on, let me make sure that you guys can see it, right? My nipples are like right here, okay? Nipples right there. Her nipples, if my nipples are here, her nipples are like right here, okay? And that was like really off to me. But she was super open about how the fact that the, the breast implants that she's got, it was like a botched surgery. So it like permanently fucked up her nipple placements or something like that. And I commend her for having the ability to talk about things like that. That's great. But, like, in those particular scenarios, I don't like it, right? That's a, it's a little weird. But normal breast implants, fine, whatever. Even BBLs, if they look appropriate. I personally, my preference is a natural structure. So, I prefer to look a particular type of way. Um, anyway, I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. So good. And I haven't eaten much today, so. It's always like that. It's always like, I didn't eat too much, so you know I gotta eat this. I'm like being uber impatient and I keep Uber looking. is such a crazy word, dude. When was the last time you heard somebody say Uber? And out the window like some loser. <laughs> if she hears a dog or sees a person. Dude, look at the weight difference is crazy, dude. It's so insane, dude. Can you 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 can see me, right? Oh, hold on. Let me let me move myself. Look at this, bro. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying, dude. Look at the weight difference. It's night and day. Night and day. Look at this, okay? Look at this, it's night and day, bro. So much weight gain. It's so crazy to see that. Oh, 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 I just peeped it. I just peeped it. So these are the girlfriends, dude. I love that Amber is like, the way the way we track Amber is, <laughs> is not the date. It's the ex. It's the ex that she dates. That is so beautiful to me, dude. Because Amber has so many exes, and she puts them all on display. It's so beautiful. Just once. Just once I want Amber to have a relationship where she's not putting it as, like, the main center of her life. I want her to be the main center of her own life. I want... Yeah, I know it's going to sound crazy to say this. I want Amber to be the center point of her own life and talk about the things and don't even talk about your relationship. I don't even want to know that you have a new girlfriend. I don't care. I want to know about you. I want to know about your progress. It actually might be better for you to not be in a relationship because honestly speaking, it always ends in disaster for you. It's always terrible. And uh, so many people have come out and said like, you're a terrible person to be with in a relationship. Now, I don't know if that's a factual statement because I've never been in a relationship with you, but it just every time I'm looking at a video from Becky, I'm looking at a video from Destiny. They all say the same thing about you, and it's it's it always like reflects. It's always echoing. So, so I'm, I mean, I'm, I have to believe it, right? I mean, that's what the evidence is saying. But anyway, Amber, let's let's continue. Let's let's continue. We're impatient, and I. If she hears a dog or sees a person, I bet you that person's waiting for Uber Eats. What? Damn, dude, licking the lips is insane. <laughs> I just, Amber is such a unique individual, dude. I really love her, but simultaneously, it's so sad when I see a girl, our girl, 
obsessing over food to the degree that she is, okay? I don't even think a gay man that has a infatuation with BBCs would would lick his lips for the for the anticipation of having that fulfill his mouth. That's where they usually wait. I'm hungry. Damn. <laughs> That's, yeah, that should automatically be said, dude. You know what I love about Amber is that she spends a lot of money on bullshit. And I just randomly see things in the background. Like when you sit on my couch, right? I have I have the I have a couch. And if you sit on my couch, it has the pillows that it came with the couch. I've not invested any more money into my couch. But when I look at Amber and I see her house tours and shit like that, I, it's always different. Every like two or three weeks, I see new stuff in her house all the time. And that's fine. If you want to redecorate and redecorate and redecorate. But isn't it like so weird that Amber has so much money to be spending, dude? So much money on furniture. So much money on accessories. So much money on food. I mean, it's crazy the amount of money. Dude, somebody told me that she spent $3,000 in a month on takeout. Who can do that? That's insane. $3,000 a month on fast food is insane to me. But our girl somehow manages to be able to do that. And buy new furniture and have i don't even know like one two three four five six pillows on this thing why you need this many pillows on a couch if i'm if i'm gonna sit on your couch and i sit on more pillow than couch that's an issue we ate way earlier just have to say that you're fine you're not really fine <laughs> we have a bunch of racket stuff <laughs> like all this cats on counters should not be They're dude not get really your cat fine. off the counter we have dude. A bunch of like don't get me wrong cats are cool people i love cats i've had a cat i've had i had a cat for the majority of my entire life r.i.p my cat love that girl she um she died and it was real sad but my cat knew better never went as never never ever in her entire life of like 20 something years she never put a paw on any type of surface like this because my cat never washed his hands ever. I've never actually, this might be crazy. I don't know if this is like a, a hot take or something, but I've never ever seen a cat that's washed their hands before. So given that information, I might be discriminating here by saying that all cats don't wash their hands. They might, I've just never seen it. I've never seen a cat over a sink going like this with the dawn. I've never seen that, okay? So if that is the case and cats are, just nasty let's be honest here for, ex for a second okay they're not as nasty as some other animals but if they're there and they're touching their poop and they're doing a whole bunch of stuff that you and me probably wouldn't be doing unless it was in a certain setting why the fuck would you have a cat just crawling across the place that you're probably going to be cutting stuff up you're going to have food products and you know amber is going to have a lot of food products on this place i just don't want my cat around that stuff you know maybe i'm discriminating maybe i'm the bad person here maybe i am let me know down below am i the bad person here bracket stuff <laughs> like all this all this damn damn it's got some ramen dude hold up ramen i don't know what that is assorted i don't know why amber sets herself up for failure so often to have these foods and stuff like this in this like, obviously she's gonna eat it if it's there am i wrong in saying that if the food is here okay she's got chips i think this is probably some kind of like cereal like so high calorie children's cereal there's a lot of children's cereal here i think this might be cat food fuck it you might as well eat it anyway probably has more nutrition than everything here cereal um cat we have one two three four different home all day eating food while obsessing over parents foods and snacks types of okay. ice creams I'm pretty sure four different types of ice creams we have nutter butters danishes cookies nutter butter always to me sounds like a sex like a sex position like you want to do that nutter butter tonight you want me to give you that nutter butter you know what i'm talking about like the sloppy meat sandwich almost right that's what i used to call them that's what i used to say a lot back when i used to talk shit to uh, 14 year old kids when they used to tell me that my mom wasn't a virgin because it was like a com common thing and they'd be like your mom is sucking me off right now and i'd go yeah well i was giving your mom that sloppy that sloppy dick sandwich you already know i had to dislocate her jaw to fit my entire sasquatch meat right into her fucking throat yeah that's right i was literally just she was gob swallowing my big meaty massive megalodon penis we have chips galore pringles and Damn, you just what what is the setup there hold on i'm sorry i gotta go back Pring can you look at this setup what is this you just like throw things in oh they can't they can't vertically mount the they can't vertically mount the the chips here because it doesn't fit. 
I don't know what this is, like instant potatoes. It's just like it just threw stuff in the bags. They just threw it into the fucking cupboard. I hate that shit. When I'm at a grocery store and I see somebody just tossing shit into the fucking cart, I always look at them with such disdain, such disgust, because it takes literally. And sometimes I'll see people doing that. There's bread on the bottom. Bread, okay? Fucking tossing shit on top of the fucking bread, dude. Like they don't give a fuck about anything that's in their cart. What are you doing? Aren't you buying this shit? What are you going to make another run around to pick, like, put this one back? And do, I've done that before, by the way. Where, like, ah, oh, this bread is squished now. I put it back and I picked out another one. What are they going to do? They can't stop me. But I've seen t- so many people just tossing shit in there. If you ever look at my cart, dude, if I'm going food shopping, you're going to see water right there. You're going to see the meats over here. The eggs are going to be on the top part. And the eggs are going to have that. There's going to be bread on top of the eggs because I know how to set shit up. The yogurt's going to be over here. Everything is vertically up. Because I know you can stack, okay? And I'm doing that. This person, obviously, Amber doesn't care. It's just thrown into a cupboard with zero rhyme or reason to it. Singles and just not cute. And we have um, like a bunch of... Di- Amber being home all day in a house full of food, even though it sounds like it's a luxury, I feel like this is like one of the nine circles of hell, right? <laughs> right? Am I wrong on saying that, dude? Or how many circles of hell are there? The shit that Dante went through in order to like go through and get like Beatrice. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like it's one of those things, dude, because she is in her own personal hell. Even though it looks so beautiful and amazing for her, ultimately, it's to her detriment. Different candies and stuff. Not cute. I'm not saying I sit around and just eat that my whole life, but what I am saying is, um, sorry, I found trash up on there and I'm like, why the hell, why the hell? At least Amber is clean. I will admit whenever I see her house, she's cleaner than me, dude. I don't even fucking make my own bed sometimes. I got fucking syrup that's half eaten behind me, bro. But at least our girl is pretty, dude. Look at our girl today, dude. Oh my God. She's so gorgeous. Hey, she's looking cute, huh? She's looking real cute, but not as cute as you. Not as cute as you. Not as cute as you. No, stop. Trash up there. Um, What I'm saying is I do eat those things on a day-to-day basis. And I'm just really excited for January 1st because I will be throwing all of, all those away. I hope uh, the jet, the dreaded January 1st where everybody makes their on oh, New Year's resolutions and I'm going to change and I'm going to be better and I'm going to lose that weight finally and nobody's going to tell me otherwise and then you get 3 months in and then you realize nah fuck that shit. I'm not losing weight. I'm good the way I am. But Amber, she sticks to it, and then she doesn't stick to it. She's like an off-and-on girly, right? She'll go, I'm going to lose 100 pounds. But every year, it seems like it gets less and less, right? I remember the first time I saw a video of her going, it's January 1st, guys. I'm going to lose weight. And then she goes, I'm going to lose 200 pounds this year. But now, if you looked at the 2023 one, which was last year, she was like, I'm only going to lose 100 pounds this year. And she ended up <laughs> she ended up gaining weight, which is like every single time. Every time. Every time she's only ever gained weight. Can you imagine going on a weight loss journey and you only gain weight? How does that even happen? Where, where did, where did you, how did you do that? How did you accomplish gaining weight on the weight loss? How did that even happen? I don't know. But that's, that's our girl. That's our girl. That's like somebody going, you know, that one video of that guy and he goes like, I'm not gay no more. And he goes to the church and he's trying to like, he's trying to become ungay because he thinks being gay is a sin or something like that. So he goes to church. You know, he's one of those churches that the the, the black guy puts his hand on his head and goes like, yeah, oh, yeah, you're, you're not gay anymore. You're not gay anymore. Stop being gay. That's gay. And then he was like, he took his hand off and he goes, oh, oh, I'm not gay no more. And in the most flamboyant voice ever. Um, and like, you can't undo that, bro. Come on, dude. What you, you going to go to church to undo the homosexuality? Listen, <laughs> there ain't nothing that can do that. All right, dude, even God, God, God himself, he's looking at you as a perfect human being in that sense, dude. You're good. You can suck dick. Nothing wrong with that. But it's like that. It's like you're trying to deny something in you so deeply. There's nothing you could do about it, dude. You are gay in the same way that Amber is not. She can't lose weight. And it's real sad to say that. I wish she could. I really wish she could. Crystal's parents allow me to do so because I'm not sure if they're going to be eating them still. So, somebody told me that Crystal's mom gave her like a thousand dollars a month or something like that is that true because somebody let me know or what but um so we have today off which is makes me super excited we have oh she bought pizza why are you looking at it like that do you see that yeah 
darn her <laughs> we have today off but um when i talk about how i really do need one cheat day a month one cheat day a month a month dude stop lying one cheat day a day just it really helps me keep me on track because if i see um something in this house that like say crystal's parents bought oh here's a good example <laughs> here's a great example these oreos <laughs> yeah the fudge creams the fudge all oh, the coconut fudge creams dude oh man i can already see these things being a problem for her dude anything's gonna be a problem i really think amber should, what she should do is never keep food in the house and then whenever she wants to get food she should just walk to the grocery store and i mean really walk now it might be a farther away distance like 30 minutes away walking distance fuck it use your legs get get some momentum going on right dude when you get to that grocery store it's gonna feel so much worth it when you see all that food on the shelf you go oh yeah i'm gonna eat so much food guess what you deserve it at least it's a lot better than just having the food at your house and then you just body slamming shit while it's on the fuck while you're on the fucking couch a lot better than that walk and walk back and then eat your food and then when you're hungry again right keep doing that eventually it's going to get tiring you know well set yourself up for failure though they're fudge cream oreos coconut delight coconut delight mm -hmm, okay sorry that was scary. so she's saying like she doesn't like having food and at least she can acknowledge it here because nowadays she doesn't even acknowledge that nowadays she just like completely avoids it i literally just saw a video of her saying she doesn't binge anymore but then like the, the sub the subsequent video after that was she was saying like i'm binging again and you know and all this stuff like this our girl is so incredibly inconsistent and i love it about her dude i really love <laughs> i love that she's so inconsistently inconsistent and that's beautiful about Amber, but she obviously can't be around high calorie food. She needs to like dictate if she's going to be around food, which I don't just suggest she is. She's going to have to have it like be very low calorie foods, just grapes, all grapes, all over the place, grapes and lettuce. That's what I suggest. <laughs> um, since we've had those, I've had one, one little one. And that was 75 calories. Damn, 75 calories for one cookie? That's insane. I marked it down and called it a day. I, I put it on my fitness pal and called it a day. And that was like, what, five days ago? More than that, probably. Dude, why are you so close? And if I didn't have this cheat day coming up. Why are you thinking about the cheat day like that? You biting your lip over the cheat day? <laughs> what are you doing right now? I think cheat days are important depending on who you are. If you're fucking The Rock, then it's super fucking important. But if you're like Amber, I think Amber should probably have more than one cheat day. And But I think it should be like more limited, you know? Like if, if it's one cheat day, I can literally see Amber eating 40,000 calories in that one cheat day. Not even joking. It's super easy to eat 4,000 calories, especially if you're somebody like Amber, who's literally conditioned themselves to eat such high denominations of calories that it probably doesn't even phase her to have more than like... You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if Amber ate 5,000 calories in a sitting. I'm not even joking. That, that would be super possible for her. Not even like, that's probably light. That's probably real light. And you guys might be like, David, 5,000 calories is a lot of calories. I know. But she just ate one cookie that was 75 calories. Now, I saw a video of a girl that ate an entire box of cookies, and that shit was like 1,600 calories, okay? You think Amber can't body slam an entire box? You're lying to yourself. You're lying. She can eat a box and a box and a box on top of that and a pizza right there on the side as a side the pizza is the side if it comes down to it if cheat days are making you bite your lip like you're in a, 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 a 50 shades of gray movie and you're looking at christian bale then you should probably you got a food addiction i think you gotta go to some you gotta get some serious fucking help okay there's nothing else i can say about that amber needs help and it, more than just more than just dietary amber needs help from the the mental aspect of it she needs like a therapist but a really good therapist one that she can cede her rights to and that person could perfectly dictate their diet to them i would have eaten a lot more of those there's no doubt about it there is no <laughs> doubt about it because she would have licked the wrapper when i look at those oreos <laughs> shut the fuck up I think of my cheat. I can't believe that wasn't edited though. Like if I'm be like the fact this was edited, right? They they paused it for a second, but there was like a good three seconds of her just gazing over at the Oreos, like like a like a lioness gazing over at a gazelle before it eats it. I think of my cheat day and I say, 
why don't I just have an Oreo on that day? One Oreo. Because sometimes I feel like why are you gazing seventy five like calories that? for that Oreo is just not worth it. So yeah, I no just shit. don't do it. And then when the cheat day comes along, I bet you so much money I'll look at those Oreos and still not touch one. <laughs> um, when Saturday or cheat day comes, um, I'll be like staring down those Oreos so much during my regular day. But why is she so close? That I'll look at it during a cheat day and be like, screw it. Pretty much. So, all right. I got to clean up this cat food and dog food. But my overall... I think Amber just needs to be busy more often. I think she needs to have like a job where she goes outside and she actually participates in society rather than staying home because it will be less excuse for her to eat. Like if you're sitting there and you're doing a lot of things, it's going to be very hard for you to focus on food. Like I know for a fact that when you're a kid, for instance, right, you have very little opportunity to fuck up your childhood if you are always preoccupied with stuff so if you're in like band or like you play football after school or you're doing a whole bunch of other shit it's super hard for you to have children for instance like having sex when you're fucking 14 years old is really hard when you have like 80 things that you have to do because you're always busy doing that stuff right or drug dealing gang banging i don't fucking know when you're doing uh, or what environments you're growing up in when you were growing up, right? But the point I'm making is Amber should just keep herself busy as much as she possibly can to like to mitigate the amount of food that she eats or like thinking about the food as much as she can. Like I know when I get a new video game, I'm like on it for like four days. Like I'm just, I love it. I'm playing it so much. And then after that four days, I'm over it, you know? I don't want to play it anymore. And then I got to do something else. I don't know. But for Amber, I feel like she just needs something that she can really intake, that she can throw herself into as much as she can. That's not food. That, I feel like, would help her out a lot. And because she has never had that, I think that's probably what she's Story she desires the most. that I want to get out is that cheat days work for me. And Biggest fucking lie ever, dude. And, you know, you guys might not think they work for you. Um, but... I see a lot of times that people are out to dinner or something like that and then they they kind of like show their struggles of not choosing um, down the wrong road and people sit there and they say, oh, why don't I just, you know, eat processed food? I can still lose weight or why don't I um, just mess up? Da, da, da. And I feel like Having that mind frame, eventually it's gonna kick you in the butt. Obviously, fruits. Damn, dude. Let's see. Oh, she got the uh, not name brand versions of this shit. Mm, oh no, she got cinnamon toast crunchers, or is that not cinnamon toast? Is that not cinnamon toast crunch? Ben Berry Colossal. I don't know. I don't know any of these fucking foods. Is in the um, refrigerator. I've already showed you guys that. So. Fruit and veggies like carrots and stuff, sometimes that consists of my snack, but I want to show you some other stuff. I Why are you showing us this shit, dude? Why don't you just eat the foods that you know that you should be eating? Like carrots are really good and uh, they're low calorie as well. And if you like that crunch, you know, I love the crunch. I'll toast bread just to get the crunch. Just, just eating raw toast is not sufficient for me. I need to toast that bread to get that nice, beautiful, you know, when you bite into a tuna sandwich and it's like, it's. It's just too moist for me, you know? I need a crunch. That's why I always put onions in everything that I, I like. Raw onions. Raw onions so I can get that perfect, good crunch in there. And I feel like if Amber's really DTF for the crunch, carrots are okay. Carrots are real good. But in apples. Apples are super good. I know a lot of people hate on apples because they're high in calorie or whatever, dude. Apples would be so much better than eating whatever the fuck these are. I have a lot of popcorn and Popcorn's some pretzels. Good too. So there's four bags of popcorn up there. Those big bags of cereal are Crystal's parents' yeah. cereal. And Not then for you, right? This Damn, is cheese just, balls. I bought a thing of cheese balls. Um, how many? How many of these can you guys eat? Like, if you write it down below, how many of these cheese balls can you actually eat? Because I could probably get through probably a tenth of these in a sitting. How many do you think Amber can get through in a sitting, dude? If I'm keeping a buck, I think she can get to the bottom. I think she's licking the. I think she's licking the bottom of this shit, dude. No doubt. And it's too easy. I don't know where she's getting the money for this shit. You know, obviously this was a few years back. I don't. I know she makes more money now. Obviously, she's literally spending three thousand dollars on fast food every single month. You know, what's really crazy is that I feel like Amber shouldn't have money because when you don't have money, you have fewer opportunities to spend money. Obviously, some people just shouldn't. 
have money. I know people that literally take money, okay? They'll have credit cards and they think, credit card, this credit card gave me $3,000. You know what that means? That means that $3,000 is my $3,000. I'm going to spend that $3,000. And then when the bill comes, they don't know what to do about it. And then some people just, I know, are in thousands of dollars of debt and never will pay it. And hopefully they do. But some people should just never have the option to have money. And I know that sounds really, really suck booty. I think that if, the, if you do make money, you should have somebody that can take care of that money for you and put it in a place to where you can spend it or they give you like a, a amount of money that they can that you can spend for yourself because Amber, if you're sitting here and you're telling me how much you spend a month on on food, like if I'm being honest, for me, probably 500 bucks for myself, right? 500 bucks in the sense of like I can go to the grocery store, I'm buying chicken, I'm buying a whole bunch of stuff that I need and eat and things like that. I could probably realistically reduce that by maybe another hundred, but I do drink water and I have to buy a couple of those a month. And I am pretty bougie when it comes to my chicken breast. I buy a lot of chicken breast in a month, eggs too, but eggs are not even really that expensive. I like steak too, but not like bougie steak, unless it's on sale. If it's really on sale, I might buy the one with the bone in it, but ordinarily I'm buying the really thin steak because it's really easy to cook. And I got throw like potatoes on the side. I love steak and potatoes. My one of my favorite meals, dude. I know a lot of people. I like I like potatoes with the skin. So I'll cut off the eyes if I have eyes on them, or if there's like a brown spot, I'll cut off the brown spot. But I'll boil potatoes with the skin on it because I love the skin, dude. Skin on potatoes, one of my favorite parts. It has that earthy taste to it, dude. Maybe it's because some of my ancestors were from like Scotland, by the way. And that's because, and like, that might be the reason. Maybe I just really like potatoes because of that. My people have been conditioned. But um, anyway. Moderation, moderation. And. Um, yeah, just lick the cheese ball. Like, if you want to. Hold up, bro. My bad. These are cheese balls, right? Why do they look like cheese doodles? They don't look like balls at all. These look like a, a mixed bag full of a whole bunch of other things. We eat them. <laughs> that sounds so bad because it's so big. But between the whole house, we ate them. Yeah, okay. Um, Crystal's dad actually really liked them, so he would take them to work a lot of the time. What do you mean, take them to work? Is it, you're making it sound like it's an animal or something. Like, oh, yeah, I took my I took my cat to work or something like that. You can't reuse it. Like, are you taking the whole fucking thing to work? Like, you coming in with the fucking giant jug of cheese balls and you just fucking eating them like this? What are you talking about? What do you mean, took them to work? What? Do, how does that even, what are you talking about? What? It's food. But they got three new different types of chips, so we just mix them in. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Crystal so they bodied the fucking cheese balls all cumulatively, which I don't even know what she meant by take them to work. Take your chips to work day. And then they just refilled it with other chips. Dad does go to work. He's a hard working man. Okay, that was scary. But um, so he needs to take himself some um snack to work, and he likes to bring chips with his sandwich. Do I don't understand what you mean by bring. Like maybe if he's packing them in there, but the way she made it sound like it's like he's driving with the shit on his fucking hand, under his arm. Stuff. I have some of these um reduced fat crackers that I never touch because I don't really care for crackers to be honest. So, and then we come over here, across the kitchen. And this is our main, our main snack place. Why do you have so many places for different snacks? She just showed us like three or four different places. Why are there so many places here? Don't you guys like, I have one spot, okay? It's like on a table on the corner. Why do you have four different places on top of the fridge, next to the fridge, over here, and there was one other place, right? So... I'll just go through everything, say if I eat dude, it. Dude, the Little Debbie's too, dude. The Little Debbie's are the worst ones, man. I'm sick of, the, out of all the things you could possibly eat, Little Debbie's are the worst snack foods because they have like a coating of, la like a layer of oil that they have at the factory or whatever. They're the worst ones. I, I, they're like, I don't even know why people even consider them to even be food at all. They're the worst at all. I, I feel like you could spend your money way more efficiently. Just go to the... Go to the pastry section and get actual food that was made that day from like the people over there in the bakery section. Don't don't buy the little Debbies. It's not worth it. If I don't, whose is it? Why is it there? Etc. So we have one of these cheddar cheese. What is this like a tutorial? Like what what, what, what like a walkthrough of all the snack foods we have? Why? Why do we have why do we need a tutorial for this? Like how fat are you that you need to go like, okay guys. So in today's video, we're gonna go through and we're gonna go through all of the snack foods that are in my house right now. So come along with me. Here we go. 
we today we have this beautiful oh my god look how gorgeous this is it's so great i suck on it every single night what is that why are we going through like a tutorial on all your snack foods um pop quaker thing those are very good for a snack or like a um uh, why is this a thing why are we doing this like, like with what? a sandwich for lunch or something they're only 90 calories um and we've had that bag for a while Two because days. we got a miscellaneous bag and the rest are gone but for some reason we still have a straggler holding on <laughs> and then we have coconut oreo fudge creams which is my girlfriend's dad's i have had one not gonna lie one um, one of those one whole that box that was about 75 calories 60 calories no you said 75 Something earlier there, 65 i don't know you said 75 haven't earlier haven't touched them since and then we have just random little bars Bro, and stuff it's some just... serious obesity to have like multiple places where your food is and then to be talking to your audience about all the uh, uh, different assortments of foods that you love and how you really don't be bodying that much is it's not that big of a deal like i would never be like yo guys guess what snacks today i bought four rice krispie treats guess what i'm gonna eat them the stragglers from boxes Protein. that we used to have this is a uh, little debbies dude you got the little debbies man why out of every out of all the snack foods you possibly can indulge in little debbies are the worst of the worst the bottom of the barrel there are so many better things that you could put in your throat little debbies are like the worst things okay they're like they're scraping the oil off the floor at the factory and they're just slopping it on top of whatever the little debbies it is and you're just eating that it's bottomless calories they are like literally i don't know which one this one is this looks like it's been fermenting in the bag for like four months but oh it's like i, I have no idea what this is amish amish cake i don't know but whatever it is it doesn't matter it's bottomless calories like look at the back it'll be like 400 500 calories for one of these things which is like ob obscenely high little debbie cream cheese streusel that is my girlfriend dad's why are you like doing it like that like oh yeah this isn't mine by the way i would never eat this this is somebody else's dude it's a fucking cake what are you talking about i say girlfriend dad's and it sounds so weird when i say that i don't know why and then these three things are um not mine weight watcher snacks which okay. is mine and my girlfriend's we have a coffee cake we have a chocolate cream cake and on the bottom we have a lemon i don't know what's up with like weight watchers is fine if it works for you like i'm not here to shit on weight watchers at all but i always think these particular programs that are designed for you to lose weight and have you like buying into them and they'll ship you out foods that are obviously like super upcharged that are like designed so they catch you on your own diet i don't know how good they are in comparison to just making the food yourself and actually understanding culinary delicacies and crafting foods and taking the time to actually understand nutrition rather than just having this pre-made shit that's done for you which most of the time people are already falling into the the trouble of i'm just buying shit already like fast food is super easy to eat because you can literally just buy it from anywhere and you take it home and you body slam it instead you're like actually cooking the food you're designing it for yourself you're understanding what's in the food right because you have to go through it all and you're also buying the food yourself instead of just going out of your way and then going one of these like if it works for you it works for you but i think it's probably a little bit more optimal to like do it yourself and make the food yourself so um we have one of those almost every night just Damn. as like a you know a nice little snack at the end of the night and then these are cookies of some sort okay i have no idea what they're called oh the friends are here boston cream pie but those are crystal Ooh. dads <laughs> i know all about them boston cream pies which i've never done by the way i've never in my entire life i've had a boston cream hold up now i've had a boston cream pie at dunkin donuts i don't recommend them i don't think they're that good out of everything like when people come to boston and they go oh yeah i'm gonna have a boston cream pie i'm gonna like go on the duck boats and i'm gonna walk the freedom trail is gay it's not cool i'm gonna let you know right now if you're coming to boston and you go i'm gonna walk the freedom trail and you think it's cool because you're spending 70 75 dollars to walk into paul revere's house it's how much it costs by the way 75 dollars it might be a little bit cheaper if you have kids maybe i don't know i haven't done that since i was like nine years old i remember somebody came to visit boston and i was like let me take you on the things right i remember i went to paul revere's house and i walked up in there and they were like oh yeah um it's gonna be a fee and i was like or was it not paul revere it might have been like the state house it might have been the state house they were like oh yeah it's gonna be money to to come in here and i was like oh okay how much 
And they were like, oh, um, 75. And I was like, uh, no, the fuck? To see some old guy's house from like 1782? I'm okay. I'm okay, dude. I don't know how well preserved this shit is, by the way. I don't know because I haven't seen it since then. Or if you're here and you're going on the duck boats and FYI, those duck boats have not been renovated since like 2001. Okay. You're, you're taking the dip on a boat that's been used in the water. It's been dipping in the water for the past 20 something years. So it's not safe in my opinion. And you're not cool by the way, when you like drive by and the guy goes, look at that, a building. A building that was made 200 years ago. And look at that. A, a person on the side of the road doing methamphetamines. Isn't that great? I don't know. I feel like the appeal of coming to a city. Like, it's a beautiful city. Boston. It's a very beautiful city. Uh, but that's only the parts of the place that you want to see. There are terrible spots in Boston that are absolutely atrocious. But uh, anyway, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. The point I'm making is that if you come to Boston and you think that it's going to be awesome because you're sitting here drinking Dunkin' Donuts, eating Boston green pies, it's not. <laughs> that sounds so funny and then these are fruit thins newton's toasted coconut those are mine but those have lasted a very long time so that's fantastic five minutes and then this is a cheddar parmesan trail Parmesian. mix that i have occasionally a third um the serving is one third of a cup it's not much so it's good to kind of have for a snack when you're hungry so that's like our little snack area and i guess if you want to see what's in here i can show you that really quick is this more snacks okay knives that is the worst way to ever have... Do you just have them free-floating? Is that what I just fucking saw? And I guess if you want to see what's in here, I can show you that really quick. Dude, no. I'm sorry. Dude, look. Somebody's going to stick their hand in there, and they're not going to look, and they're going to get cut the fuck up. Like, it's Freddy. It's Freddy from fucking Freddy vs. Jason in here from Friday the 13th. This is atrocious, dude. Knives. Boring. More snack Onion. foods. You're putting, okay, this is a, okay, you're putting onions in a fucking drawer? Is this normal? Do you put onions in a drawer? I don't. I put them in the fridge because they're onions, okay? Yummy. Okay. Teas. Okay, this is okay. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I don't know why the onions are in a drawer, okay, like an office drawer. I don't know why that's there. Fun. <laughs> Potatoes and sweet potatoes. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm the one that's dumb here. I put potatoes in the fridge, okay? Because it prolongs them. And I don't eat potatoes, like, a, like whatever. Like, I bought, like, a 10-pound bag of potatoes. It's not, I'm going to usually eat that over the month, right? Sometimes they get a little bit eyed up, and I'm not trying to carve out the eyes out of my growing potatoes. So I put them in the fridge. Why the fuck? Do you have the potatoes and the onions in the same drawer you're keeping the cutlery and tea? What is going on? What is, what is the, how, how did you get that? Where, why is it like that? Mm, all right. Okay. Yeah. That's Sweet wrong. potatoes are gross, but I like regular. It's, it's like an office drawer. It's like a drawer you would find in like a cabinet area or something like that. It's not something, it's not, it's not a place where you put onions and potatoes. So that's our little corner there. So, I mean, that wasn't that thrilling. I'm sure most of you don't even have any of this in your house, but like I said, food. I'm a believer in moderation okay. just because there's a lot in front Obviously of Obviously not a believer in fucking moderation, Amber. You're like five something pounds. Face does not mean I need to eat it. Okay. Or eat it all. Like I said. Trying to convince our, trying to convince us here for a second, not, not herself. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. If you you um yeah i would appreciate if anybody do that stuff that's like it'll help me grow in the algorithm so if you could do that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously if you want to be a member of my channel you can memberships are there if you don't want to that's completely fine i have a second channel now that will be linked in the description of the channel and the description of this video that's going to be like stream highlights and stuff like that there's some other stuff on there if you want to watch more of whatever i do it's like some it's it's just like it's this but it's also other stuff too anyway doesn't matter you're a beautiful person i appreciate you tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in Celsius. I bought these today for $10, okay? Because it's 200, I, I'm addicted to caffeine, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on caffeine. So I don't, and I want to like buy coffee every single day. And these are only 10 calories per pack, which is like nothing at all. 10 calories is nothing. That's nothing. That's no calories, dude. And they taste great. Now my problem, right, is I bought these ones over here. Hold on, give me a second. I bought these ones. Hold on. Ah. 
I bought this one and I thought that it was just lemon, but it turns out it's got blueberries in it and it tastes fucking atrocious, but I'm still going to drink it. I'm not going to like it. So I'm going to like literally be swallowing these down my throat for the next, probably next week or so. Cause I usually have like one or two a day and just to get that little caffeine kick, I'm not like totally addicted to it. Like some people I know who are drinking like a literal gram of caffeine every single fucking day, I'm not doing that. And I personally speaking here, I don't even think I have that much of like, I think caffeine really doesn't do anything for me to be honest. I know a lot of people would think that I have like ADD or something like that, which I did try to get checked up for, but my health insurance didn't cover it. So I can't get checked up for it. Maybe one day I can go to the doctor and they'll maybe say I have it or not, but I'm okay. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm completely fine, but, um, I'm going to be sucking those down. So leave it down below, like, type in Celsius, however you want to type it in. Because um, Celsius is good. It's just awesome. It's super awesome, super amazing. I used to do the pussy version of those, which was like Mio that had caffeine. Or I used to do the Crystal Lights, which were the little boy versions of these, which only had like 60 milligrams of caffeine. These are the 200 milligrams of caffeine, okay? I'm doing it big. I'm doing it real big. I'm a big baller, shot caller, big boy in it, big dog in it. That's what it's all about. And I know that you also have a caffeine addiction because you're an adult. Everybody knows that, okay? I don't know what to tell you. When you're an adult, you have a caffeine addiction. I, don't, I really wonder what people were doing before caffeine was a thing. Like, obviously, caffeine has always been a thing, like, in terms of, like, it's always been here. But not many people were sucking down the sweet sustenance. Like, nobody was going into the jungle and, like, like sucking the leaves of caffeine trees or wherever they came from in order to acquire the, 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 the delicacy of the, the stimulant of the caffeine, right? I don't even know if it works like that. Anyway, guys, um, you're a beautiful human being. You're a beautiful specimen of human being. I care about you deeply. I think that you're one of the greatest people upon this planet. I think you're going to do great things. I love the way that your body is shaped. I love the way your mind is shaped. I love that you can go through and discern whether or not something is good and something's not good for you. It takes a lot. It takes a big person to not be a big person. So I really love that you are really working on yourself and you're focusing on what you can do to better yourself and what everybody else around you and stuff like that. So that's super amazing. I, I thank you so much for being here. Like I said, second channel, that's there now for like other stuff. I'm going to be uploading to that at least once a day. I'm going to try my hardest because I'm going to try to live stream, not once a day, but like maybe five days a week or something like that. Because, like, I don't have time a lot of the time. But I'm going to try my best. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it will be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Discord. If you want to join the Discord server, you could do stuff like that there. Or you could join the Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Any of those things will be beautiful, amazing. Help me grow. Not like that. Anyway, guys, um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.